Hi, welcome. Inside this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the fabulous Spring in New York City workshop coming up that is for visiting museums and lots of plein air painting. So first I'll cover the museums that we'll be visiting and what we'll be doing in them. Then I'll cover where we'll be plein air painting and some of those activities. And lastly, I'll get to some logistics. So the museums. The Metropolitan. We'll spend the most time there. It's right on Central Park. It's um, just got everything in it. So we could spend the whole four days in the Metropolitan, but we're not going to. One of the things we will be doing there is um, having a drink on the mezzanine on either a Friday or Saturday evening, and then going around and seeing the exhibits a little more in that evening. Um, we will also be drawing from masterpieces while we're in there. We will visit the Frick, which is also near Central Park in a gorgeous old mansion filled with masterpieces and they will be having a Rembrandt show that we will see. We will squeeze in the Guggenheim. This museum is optional. If you're exhausted, you can pass on this one. And the fourth museum is the Brooklyn Museum, which has a wonderful collection. A lot of people don't get out to Brooklyn and miss that. It um, has such things as Judy Chicago's dinner party. We will have free time in some of these museums and I will go over the collections with you before we arrive so that you will be able to think about what you want to do to best use your time. The places where we'll be plein air painting are Central Park. We'll spend a lot of time there. There's many locations, all of them that I've painted in in the past. And uh, we might even get a chance to um, go over to the Tavern on the Green, which is on the park. And um, there I can answer any questions you have about how I created my 54 foot mural that's inside. Um, so we will be working with drawing and um, watercolor and gouache primarily and I will also give one demonstration on plein air painting in acrylic but I want the focus to be on traveling very light so using the watercolor with the gouache although you can use other materials if you have a much bigger passion for them. All right so a lot of Central Park We'll also be spending um, at least half a day in the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Now this garden, uh, when I live there, I will go there once a week in the spring and there's always something so unbelievable um, going on because the season is changing around. Week by week it's different. I do not know what would be blooming when we're there. It depends on the particulars of this spring. But it will be wonderful, I can assure you. And it is um, just across the parking lot from the Brooklyn Museum. So that will be done in one day. And on our way to and fro, we will be drawing on the subway. And I will teach you tricks for how to do that discreetly and learn the most. Um, you do want to be discreet about it, but um, that can be done. And um, the fourth location, or it might be the fifth or sixth, because we're going to have many spots um, that we work um, in these parks, is, well, anyhow, the other location is Times Square. And we're going to work there twice. We have a fabulous place to sit where we get the perfect view. And um, Times Square isn't what it used to be. It's really cleaned up and wonderful now. We will draw once in the daytime so that we get accustomed to that chaos and um, activity and how to put it down on our uh, paper. And then we'll also do a night scene there, an evening scene. We won't, we won't be out too late. Um, so that covers some of the places we'll go in. Some of the things we'll deal with will be um, how to travel very light and how to include your art materials on a trip. 
how to get um, great reference material in case you want to later do paintings from it, how best to take advantage of limited time in museums um, without driving yourself nuts um, to get the most out of it. Uh, this, the whole package has been planned to um, give you this variety of experiences, show you some of these wonderful things about New York, and prepare you for other trips you might be going to take. So, um, about the logistics. I am not making this a package. If you are from out of town, maybe you have friends you can stay with, or um, you know, special deals. I am going to be staying near Central Park, and um, I think that's a great location to stay in. Um, I'm going to be staying between Times Square and Central Park, but um, I can help you some to find a place if you if you need to um, get a hotel. Uh, you can go online and find your own deals. Um, I have tried to make this as inexpensive as possible because some of you might be on tight budgets. So we are going to be in all the museums at times when it's pay as you wish. So you can pay the whole recommended fee or you can pay much less if you're if you don't have a lot of income. And um, we're not going to be eating out together in fancy places. We might have lunch together in museum cafeterias. So I've tried to make it um, as reasonable as possible. The fee for the workshop is only $300. There are only 15 um, participants that I'm going to take, and several of those slots have already been taken. So if you are interested, um, please let me know as soon as possible. Contact information is up on this video. And um, email me or call me if you have any questions, I'll tell you. I just can't wait for this. I, I draw and paint in New York at least um, two times a year, once in the fall, once in the spring. I've been um, really wanting to share it with other people, how, how I create the best experience from doing it, and um, I want to share with you all about composition, you know, um, painting, references. Uh, uh, there's just so much. Um, so thanks for listening and um, let me know what you think, okay? I'm going to slide out of the way so that you can get the full view of the painting behind me. As you can see, it's rather historic. It's a view from the top of the St. George Hotel in Brooklyn. I did it in the early 1980s. I had first done as a commission a 15-foot painting of this same view in twilight for the Brooklyn Heights Cafe, which was then in the St. George Hotel building. Um, and I love the scene so much, I did this painting and have kept it. It um, really reminds me of a lot of the things I love about painting in New York. So here it is, and bye.